How about it, y'all? This is Daniel Nicholson with Nicholson Farms, and welcome back to another video. Uh, today, we're going to be working on getting our bucks ready for breeding season. It's right around the corner, so we want to make sure these guys are ready to go. Uh, we're going to talk about a couple different tips going in uh, to breeding season with our bucks. But first, we're going to go check on the does, give them some feed, and uh, just kind of see how they're doing. For the most part, I am very happy the way all the girls look right now. Uh, we still got to to work them before breeding season. We've got about three weeks to get that done. Uh, I think we're actually gonna try to do it next week. Run them through all, run them all through the shoot. Uh, trim whatever feet that we need to be trimmed, or worm whoever needs to be dewormed, and they should be ready to go. Uh, we're gonna talk about you know, a little more preparation for them here in a second when we get down there to the bucks kind of ties into both of them so we are still working on nutritionally flushing our does we're one week into that uh, we got another three weeks until the buck goes in um, but i'm really thinking about changing that plan up a little bit i'll tell you about that here in a second but first let's catch these bucks sorry i saw the perfect opportunity to catch these bucks so i had to cut the camera off real quick and, and shut the gate in behind them uh, but i just mentioned that we might be changing up our breeding plan a little bit uh, what we're going to be doing is moving it up a week uh, it's going to cut that nutritionally flushing the does down uh, by a week, but I'm going to go ahead and start bumping their feet up tomorrow uh, to about a three-quarter of a pound. Uh, but I've got two reasons I want to do that. Uh, reason number one is I like to put my bucks across the fence line prior to breeding. It kind of helps those does get stimulated, get ready to start cycling. Uh, just the smell of that buck will um, make them want to start cycling uh, people do it in several different ways either putting the buck on the fence line or you can actually cut off the buck's beard and kind of take it out there to the does every once in a while uh, the week before and it kind of just gets some girls stimulated and ready to go and also the bucks it kind of works for the same the girls being on the other side will kind of help these bucks start rutting uh, clifford he's in the, the scale right there he doesn't need it right now he stinks like crazy he's, he's been peeing on his legs and his beard uh really for the past three to four weeks he can smell the girls up there uh tiny's been doing it a little bit and but clyde here our young buck he's still pretty young he hasn't started doing it yet and i want to get him beside that fence line and get him stimulated to start doing that um but another reason we're going to be moving it up is the does are actually going to the lease here in a week and a half and so in about three days, these bucks will be going into the pasture beside them for a week, hopefully to get these guys stimulated and get them ready to start a rutting. And whenever the girls go to the lease, I'm gonna throw Clyde here on the trailer with them. I'm getting bullied right now, but I'm gonna throw Clyde here on the trailer and let him go up there to the lease with the girls and have two weeks by himself with the girls to see if he can get as many does covered as possible. Uh, we wanna try to keep his or at least know when his babies are going to be born so i know the first two weeks worth of babies if it lines up right on the calendar if they cycled right uh, will in fact be clyde's and we can percentage register him register those babies because he is 100 percent new zealand uh, and then after that since he's so young i don't want to push him too hard we'll be putting another buck in and it's probably going to be clifford here our red buck I think I've made the decision that we're going to use him as a cleanup buck. I've got a lot of young does that are related to Tiny, the Savannah buck, so he's probably going to be hitting the road because I just don't need three bucks. And honestly, when we get through this breeding season, 
we're probably just gonna narrow it down to Clyde here. Uh, but that's a story for another day. I gotta get the catch pin set up. I just gotta move this panel, this rusty panel right here, and kind of make a little makeshift, makeshift shoot into this scale. Uh, so we can get these bucks weighed. I'm gonna check their eyes. I know I wanna worm Clyde. He hasn't been wormed since he's been here. And uh, this is gonna be kind of stressful on him with the girl, so I, I definitely wanna get him wormed. And uh, we're gonna look and see who needs feet trimmed. Hopefully my little brother will be here uh, soon because I definitely can't hold these guys down by myself. So let me get the shoot set up and uh, we'll get started. Well, let me tell you something else first. So we are actually working on a plan to extend our barn. Uh, this is gonna be a, a great addition. Uh, the, this whole barn is gonna be extended by about 15 foot, the whole width all the way across here. So my whole catch pin here will be under, under roof. And I have kind of laid it out where we're gonna put up a pretty neat working system. It's pretty much gonna go the whole length of basically from here all the way up to there we're gonna we're gonna set it up right i'm gonna i'm gonna try to i'm gonna get a flip table in there i'm gonna have a scale uh we're gonna be able to have to work them with a, a decent you know sorting gate in there uh so it's gonna be something we kind of build this is just a future project I figured i'd tell you about i'm super excited about um, but we've got the the logs heading to the mill now to get ready to make this addition uh so Hopefully that's something we can make a video of, of us building our first uh, working system. I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm, I'm not a big fan of this setup. So anyways, I just figured I'd tell you that. So let's um, get this catch pin set up or the shoot set up, uh, weigh these guys and worm who needs to be wormed. That should work for just three goats. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to go grab the wormer, and then we're going to put the first one in, and you know, we'll, it'll be pretty quick just checking these guys. I know I checked Tiny's eyes yesterday when we were eating. He doesn't need to be wormed, but I do kind of want to get a weight on him, see how he's growing. Um, but Then we'll look at Clifford and, and Clyde's eyes and trim some feet. So if you haven't ever seen my scale here, this is an Artfeld Instant Wave Farm Scale. I got it from an old hog farmer. Uh, it used to be laid out a little bit different, but I had to just rig it up with some cables and I got a small crane scale and When you cut on it just zeroes out whenever you got it balanced out now um, I can open that gate and this gate uh, Run a goat in weigh it and dose it accordingly uh, if it needs a dewormer Kind of got my cheat sheet right here And we're using Valbazin and prohibit dewormer today. I couldn't find my other drench syringe so i just got a regular syringe we'll get it done uh, but we're just going to run them in there one at a time uh, check their eyelids if they need to be dewormed uh, we will go by the weight and worm them So Clyde's our first candidate. Uh, he's weighing pretty good. He's weighing right at uh, 75 pounds. I'm happy with that. Uh, he's not full grown by no means, uh, but he has gained a decent amount of weight since he's been here. I've got it written down somewhere else what he weighed when we got him here, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and check his eyes and see how he looks.
So on the Famacha score, I'd say he's probably about a three and a half, uh, which is understandable. Uh, he's the one that gets bullied around here a little bit. He's young and uh, he's had a lot of stress because these other bucks and the and the billy, I mean, in the butcher calf brisket. So I'm not really faulting him too much. Um, like I said, he is about to get stressed out with breeding. So we're gonna go ahead and deworm him. Uh, typically this is really the only time of year I'd like to to give my um, goats a, or my bucks a break on the deworming. Uh, Hush. Uh, just cause they just come out of summer, the hardest part, I mean the hardest months of uh, the parasite load. Uh, and he's about to have a, a very stressful time, like I said. So we're gonna go ahead and deworm him real quick. I uh, think his feet looks good, but we're gonna check him when my brother gets here. So all the deworming is complete. Uh, I knew Tiny didn't need it, but I did weigh him in. He's weighing right at uh, 90 pounds, which is was kind of surprising. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, Cl uh, Clyde here, 75 pounds, and old big old Clifford was weighing in at right at 120. Uh, we did go ahead and deworm him as well. Uh, he was kind of on that three and a half on the Famacha score, um, but he's going to be doing some breeding here soon. Uh, so we want to go ahead and just get them ready, uh, just in case. Um, but we're going to wait on Matthew to get here, but I'll catch back up with you then, and we'll trim these guys' feet. And uh, I look forward to it because Clifford is over here peeing on himself, so I'm probably going to smell like a boar buck or a buck whenever we're done with this. So I'll see you in a second. Yeah. 
kroku. All right, so we got these guys worked over. I think they're about ready for uh, breeding season now. They're eating their supper. I was kind of impressed with the hooves. Uh, Clifford needed some trimming on one hoof that he'd been limping on for a couple weeks. Uh, but other than that, uh, I was really impressed with uh, Clyde's feet. They look perfect. Uh, Tiny's feet wasn't too bad. They wasn't perfect, but they wasn't bad at all. Uh, like I said, we, we wormed Clyde and, and, and uh, Clifford over there. Um, but I think we're ready to go for breeding season. It's coming up soon. Uh, I can't wait. I'm ready to get some babies on the ground. That's my favorite time of the year. Uh, so we're about five and a half to six months away from that. So we're looking forward to it. But uh, I really appreciate y'all hanging out with us today. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It'd mean a, a lot to us if you haven't already. And uh, hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. And uh, leave us a comment. I think the next video we're going to be kind of doing the same thing with the girls. We're gonna be running them through the chute and uh, kind of working them, getting them ready. And uh, then we're gonna move the bucks up there, start fence line, teasing them does, and getting them ready. And we're gonna be off to breeding. But I really appreciate it and we'll see y'all on the next one.